Let's now go to question three. So question three, A, the total time the volume of water that should be added to 100 cm cube of 0 0.5 mole per dm cube ACL in order to obtain 0 0.3 mole per dm cube ACL. Now what's happening? When you're adding water to a solution, what are you doing? You are diluting that solution, right? Which means that the final concentration would be lower than the initial concentration, which is what we have here. This is our initial concentration, which is C1. This is our initial volume v1 and this is a final concentration c2 you can see that c2 is lower than what c1 so which means that it is a dilution okay so we are going to apply the dilution factor which is similar to what we did in question one so we divide this our initial concentration initial concentration that's a c1 is 0 0.5 mole per dm cube initial volume v1 is 100 cm cube which is a 0 0.100 dm cube our final concentration or new concentration c2 is 0 0.3 mole per dm cube our final volume we don't know v2 remember we are looking for what volume of water that should be what added not just the final volume volume of water that should be what added so using the dilution factor c1 over c2 equals to v2 over v1 First of all, we have to get our what V2, right? So here V2 will be equal to C1 V1 all over what C2. What's our V1 here? Our C1, C1 is a 0 0.5 times our V1 is 0 0.1 all over our C2 is 0 0.3. So it gives us 0 0.1667 dm cubed which is 166.7 cm cube all right now this is our v2 of course since the concentration is decreasing right we we'll expect the final volume to be higher than the initial word volume remember volume is inversely proportional to concentration the higher the concentration the lower the volume and the higher the volume the lower the concentration but we are asked to calculate the volume of water that should be what added so since v2 is higher than what v1 means that water was added to v1 to make it up to what v2 so volume of water volume of water added is equal to what v2 minus what v1 which is 166.7 cm cube minus 100 cm cube that gives us what 66 0.7 cm cube means that 66.7 cm cube of water would be added to 100 cm cube of 0 0.5 mole per dm cube HCl to reduce its concentration to 0 0.3 mole per dm cube. All right, so let's look at the last question. Briefly describe a chemical test to distinguish between HCl and diluted HNO3. Support the test with relevant equation. All right. So you have two colorless solutions, dilute HCl and dilute HNO3. How will you know the one that is dilute HCl or the one that is what? Dilute HNO3. So what are you going to use? What are the ions present here? Both of them contain hydrogen ions, right? But this one contains chloride ion, while this one contains the charge and five ion. So which reagent do you use to test for chloride ion, right? At least for your syllabus, it's easier to test for chloride ion than trouser nitrate 5 ion. So we are going to use what? AgNO3 what? Solution. So what are we going to do? So add few drops of aqueous 
AgNO3. That's silver nitrate 5 solution to unknown solutions. Right? In a test tube. If a white precipitate is formed which dissolves in excess ammonia in excess ammonia solution then the unknown solution is dilute ACL. On the other hand, on the other hand, in the test tube, containing dilute HNO3 no precipitate will be formed so equation of reaction for this first one as HCl HLs plus HNO3 HLs to give us what HCl solid that's the white precipitate plus HNO3 aqueous we can write this as Cl minus aqueous plus Ag plus aqueous giving us what AgCl solid so that's the test that you can use to distinguish between dilute ACL and dilute HNO3 Right. That brings us to the end of our correction of the 2023 Chemistry Practical Alternative B examination. For those of you that are preparing for GC, if you are to learn anything from this tutorial, give us a like, right? drop your comments and subscribe to this channel if it's your first time here to always stay updated with our new uploads. Right? And until we come your way next time, always stay safe and God bless you.